no synchros. Hello, hello, YouTube Brohas here. Today, I'm going to be diving into the synchro event without any synchros. See, little known fact about me, as a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I can't read, I can't count, and I can't add numbers together and do basic math, so synchros have always confused me, and they're an archetype that I really just don't kind of really enjoy playing. Um, I will do a synchro deck for this event later if you guys really want to. I could even try to do a budget one if that interests anybody. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just completely circumvent that and just play Cleese. This deck worked wonders during the Xyz event, and it looks like it's still at full power during this event. The only thing that it lost was Kaiser Coliseum, which I just replaced with the rivalry of the warlords so it still seems pretty consistent it doesn't look like it's going to get hit for future events either now i am going to drop off a few disclaimers before i go into the card by card and it's since um synchros are typically these huge make your board strategies my way to stop them are just generic hand traps like maxi ash blossom and infinite impermanence so if they set up up a huge board it's gonna be a bit hard to break unless they let you resolve skill drain going second this really is stop them with hand traps just like how most ladder decks function so that's not really a bad thing uh second of all the go for since synchros are very very monster focused decks typically they don't run a lot of powerful breaking board spells like twin twisters and lightning storm and feather duster so i opted to remove the typical cards i'd run to protect like solemn judgments and anti-spell fragrances for to instead just run generic good hand traps and things to stop the synchro decks and again if you're going first once you set up you still have the imperial order if you really they want protection but i'm gonna quit babbling this is gonna be a really short deck profile luckily since uh i can't really record gameplay for it yet but uh, i have the card by card down below it's a very simple deck you just normal summon and flip skill drain anyways timestamps down below and i'm gonna go ahead and skip to the explanations Hopping into Cleese, we're going to be starting off with three copies of Scout. Scout is a really cons good consistency card and lets you search any Cleese fort from your deck for paying 800. Monolith is a really consistent skill one and it's very easily accessible and searchable through the deck. Three copies of Maxi. Synchros can't actually make any notable plays without summoning about over 10 times. So Maxi is just going to completely shut you down or give you the resources to out them. Three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom just a really generic hand trap and will typically hit most Synchro decks. Then for the Cleese, these do have effects when you end up tributing them but their effects don't come up very often so the ratios are adjusted to how relevant their effect can be and how high their attack stat is so i'm not going to waste a ton of time explaining them and i'm just going to explain three copies of cleefort carrier three copies of cleefort helix one copy of cleefort shell and three copies of cleefort stealth for your cleefort monsters then we're going to be running one copy of cleefort tower this could be a bit tricky to bring out but if it comes out it basically is game over this is a very powerful towers effect and it's what it's named after it's basically unaffected by everything and lets you loop cards out of your opponent's hand then we're running one copy of raigeki just so we could search into it since synchros are largely monster focused i opted to just ignore the back row removal and focus on the monster removal Three copies of Summoner Art just lets you search out your Klee monsters. Two copies of Pot of Duality because while you can special summon, you could just easily normal summon as well. Two copies of Pot of Desires just to get through our deck and find those powerful floodgates. One copy of Sacrifice. This card honestly feels fine at one. And it is a nice attack boost and a nice ability to search. Two copies of Infinite Impermanence just to hand trap more. I think Infinite Impermanence is very valuable against Synchro, but since a lot of it is graveyard effects, I consider running the Skullmeister, but I think Imperm should be fine to stop that opening play. Uh, one copy of Imperial Order. This is going to be really, really strong against Synchro decks. Not only that, it protects our back row. Two copies of Rivalry of the Warlord. I'm not actually sure how useful this one will be in the event. Uh, I wanted to run Kaiser Coliseum, but it is banned for the event. So this might be substitutable if it doesn't really hit that many of the decks once the event actually goes live. But I do think it'll be a solid enough pick because typically the lower synchro monsters are different attributes. So this will be a nice way to stun them nice and early. And I do think it'll be a powerful card. I might even up it. I'll either raise the ratio of this or lower it once the actual event is out. And I'll be sure to pin it in the comment down below. Three copies of Skill Drain. You have to do it to them. Especially against Synchro. Skill Drain would just absolutely ruin their day. This is the main win condition of the deck to be completely honest. Because it just turns your Klees into these giant beater monsters. Because their effect to lower their attack is negated. So it goes up and you can just normal summon monsters and beat your opponent down. And two copies of the 
monarchs erupt which is again just more access to copies of skill drain it's only at two because you do need to pendulum summon out a cleave first and then tribute summon over it or you need to get a cleave to stick for a turn and tribute summon over it uh so it's fine at two but again it's just more access and it's the reason why we're not opting to not run an extra deck although it's gonna give away our strategy pretty early it does enable us to run monarchs erupt which i think is worth it but that has been the card by card. No gameplay because I actually am releasing this prior to the Synchro event for once. And hopefully you guys enjoy. If you don't like Synchros or you're just not very good at the strategy yet, this could be a nice deck to play. And that's the basic rundown of the deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This deck seems to be very future-proof. I actually played this during the XZ's event. The only card I lost was Kaiser Coliseum from that initial run, but I just replaced it with Rivalry of the Warlords. Uh, so I think this deck will continue to be future-proof for the next event a well so it's a pretty safe craft and it doesn't actually require any URs because you could go ahead and just take out towers towers doesn't come up very often it's a bit more of a win more card hopefully you like what you saw and this helps you out during the event as well i will have an earthbound immortals deck coming up soon and then i'll be following up with a budget deck that i'm not quite sure what it's gonna be but hopefully you guys enjoy thank you for watching this has been rojas signing out mm -hmm.